Hi, this is Jason with Days Computer Tips with another how-to video for you. This was on how to connect an NES console to a monitor or a smart TV. These would have to have an HDMI connection. That's what we're going to do today. I'm going to show you how to hook up your old system so you can play those old school games on your nicer um, monitors and stuff like that. So that's what we're going to do in this video. So first thing we want to do is hit the like and the subscribe and the notification bell, that way you don't miss out on any new videos. It doesn't cost anything to do it, so hit the subscribe and also hit the like on the video. It really helps out the channel. So, what are we going to do? First thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure we have all the pieces to do this. So first, you want to have your, obviously, your console and your power for the console, which is smart. And you'll have a controller. I don't have the controller out right now, but that's what you're going to need. This will work also on a Super NES uh, N64. Uh, anything what uses an AV cable, it should work with. So, but I have tested on the Super Nintendo, I've tested on the Nintendo, and I've tested on the N64. So all those work with what I'm going to show you. So the other devices you need, tools, you're going to need an HDMI cable. Your monitor might already have one on it, which is right there. Um, so you're just going to disconnect that and connect it to what we're doing. But if you don't have one, have one of those. Also, this is the magic tool here I use. It's an AV to HDMI. So you need an audio video cable, and this is what converts it to the HDMI. And it has the ends on it, the colors, you know the colors, RCA colors. Um, then you have the power. That comes with this, so you don't have to worry about that. I'm sorry, I flipped it around, there you go. This goes with this, it comes with this actually, so you don't have to worry about it. That's the power to this. And then, the last thing you're gonna need is your another AV cable, a RCA cable. This should have came with your system. If you don't have it, um, I'll put a link down below with the link to this one too um, in the description so you guys can find these and get them easily. So that's what you need to start this whole project out. So now we got that out of the way, now let's show you how to connect everything. Okay, now as you can see, I took the AV to HDMI. I have connected it to the AV cable I had, the RCA cable I had, which then I connected it to the Nintendo. And actually, color to color, they match, so you can't mess it up. This, now, this is optional. This actually makes a weird sound when I have it connected. You do not have to have that connected to do what I'm doing on this one. You might have to have it connected on the other ones. But I know on the NES, I had to pull this because it kept making a weird sound. So that's just um, heads up. If that it happens to you, I would unplug the white. You should be fine. Okay, so now we have that all set up. So what I did is I connected that USB power right to the side because that's what it has right here. You'll see on the side it has 720p and 1080p. Obviously resolution for your monitor, but I'm on this system it's not a big deal. So we're gonna follow this. You're gonna plug it into power, which we have right here. I plugged it in, it's all powered up. So now it's all powered. So the next thing we need to do after we hooked up all that, make sure you have the power. Obviously, as you can see, I plugged in the power and I plugged it into the wall and the, so we have that all set up. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to hook up the HDMI to the little H AV to HDMI, which is going to go right there. You'll see that right there. So that's going to be easy. So let's do that right now. It's going to come out of my, I already have it connected to this, but we don't need it on that. So we're going to pull it out. So it, I need to go around here. Yes, I have lots of stuff over here, guys. Um, hold on. Okay. Okay, now I'm stuck. Okay, hold on. Okay, so now we're going to connect it right here. So let's see if I can do this while we're on the thing without making everybody sick. All right, so we're going to do this. So you guys going to see me doing this. There we go. All right, now it's connected. Now you're going to notice I'm going to swing over very slowly so I don't give you all sick. Now it says no signal. You're going to see this blue screen right off the bat. It says no signal, which is fine. Actually, we also need to get a game out. So let's do this. We'll grab a game. Okay, we have put this in, as you can see over here. Once this is in, you have the blue screen going on, but I'm going to show you how this works. So we're going to power this up since we have a game in. We're going to hit power. You hear the sound? Now you're going to go back to here. You're going to still have this blue screen, and you're going to come back over this way. And you're going to look to the side like we did before, and where we were looking at. Um, we're going to just flip the switch. It doesn't matter which way on this NES, it doesn't matter. So you're going to see in a minute. There it is. Now I have hooked up my NES to my monitor, HDMI monitor, and it will work on Roku TVs, smart TVs. It should work on it as long as they have HDMI. You just need to make sure you have this little baby to connect all the pieces so you can do all that. It's real simple. You should just grab this stuff and you can actually do this. So try this out yourself. Make sure you hit the like, subscribe on this video. We love showing you these cool things. So this is a fun one because I'm a big gamer. 
So there you go. That is how you do it. Make sure to check out davescomputertips.com uh, where all, all our articles are and make sure to subscribe to this channel. And thanks for watching.